Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. I forgot to do an intro beforehand. Hope everyone's doing well. Original link to the video, top of the description. Forces News, uh, British Royal Navy helicopter in Norway, training. It was good. Uh, would appreciate any answers to the questions I had. Hope you guys are doing well. Let's go. British helicopter. Uh, yeah, let's go to the clear this. Yeah. A wildcat maritime attack helicopter hunts an enemy ship in the Norwegian fjords near Bergen. Okay, Roger. Uh, we're nearing the open land uh, waypoint. Uh, sorry, open. The deep, narrow inlets offer fast attack vessels the perfect hiding place. Due to the topography, the depth of water right up to the shoreline is really deep. And with our shallow draft, it makes it makes it safe for us to be close to the shoreline. This so these are just giant underwater canyons. Like, it, it just goes straight down. Not, not like there's much of a, obviously no beach, but like she said, super steep. Like, how deep is it? Like, right here. So it makes it safe for us to be close to the shoreline. This is British-led Joint Expeditionary Force Exercise Tamba Shield, and 815 Naval Air Squadron is here to hone its warfighting capabilities. We're essentially practicing um, fighting against anything from a small, fast attack craft all the way through up to frigates and destroyers. The west coast of Norway provides a really um, useful training ground for us, from challenging geography all the way through to a really capable host nation and partner that we're training with and against in order to hone our skills. The crews of the four Wildcats fly multiple sorties each day. I'm invited to film one from the air. On this mission, the Wildcats are working alongside Norway's corvettes to hunt down the Royal Navy's P-2000. three miles away. We've got the green OK. Intention is to attack. Else it's off to reset. Roger. It's interesting how the... Wildcats are working alongside Norway's corvettes. How the... Uh, what's it called here? Like the rudder spin thing? That, that like, you know, obviously keeps it non not spinning around right and how it's only on one side right there's only one propeller there which means i'm assuming there's a natural tilt of the helicopter in in one direction so this can counteract it because it's not like it's spinning one way and then spinning the reverse way to like go back another way so i'm assuming if you turn right or, like, if you turn one, if you want to turn one way, you just, like, lessen the speed of this. And if you want to turn the other way, then you speed it up. To hunt down the Royal Navy's P-2000. Three miles away. We've got the green OK. Intention is to attack. Voice for fun. To reset. Roger. Box is up. They Roger. spot one, but before they can fire, it slips away into the jagged coastline. They don't show up that well uh, on some radar systems, for instance. They, they have quite a small cross-section, um, so it means that we have to um, alter our ways of, of trying to find them. So we're mostly um, reliant on uh, kind of visual uh, representations, so uh, using our, our camera uh, that we have on board, uh, but also maybe using some more passive sensors so that we don't uh, reveal where we are before um, we can find them. So recently introduced into service is the Martlet weapon system. Um, it's a, it's a, a laser beam riding missile, um, particularly useful against fast attack craft. So we're really utilizing this opportunity to practice our tactics to employ that weapon system. Guys, I wonder if this actually provides significant lift to the aircraft or if it's just designed to be as little drag as possible and be a platform on the sides of the helicopter to hold weapons. You know? You know what I'm asking? Anyways. So recently introduced into service is the Martlet weapon system. Um, it's a, I'm it's assuming a, the latter. A laser beam riding missile, um, particularly useful against fast attack craft. So we're really utilizing this opportunity to practice our tactics to employ that weapon system. This is just an exercise, but it's easy to see why these tactics are being honed. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has led to increased security concerns in the high north. 815 Naval Air Squadron's role is to carry out warship protection, surveillance and intelligence gathering. So if Britain is called upon to help defend this coastline, they need to know how to operate in these waters. The geography has changed a little bit here with the uh, air in Norway, with uh, Finland and Sweden joining NATO, which brings, uh, or it makes it much more important to have, uh, be able to uh, receive allied support here on the west coast. 
And having this, having time to exercise together in a setting like this brings us really forward, both nations. Uh, we can offer a unique exercise area here in uh, the Skerries along the western coast of Norway. Uh, and we can also offer some tailored units Whoa. for operating within these waters. James so Bond looking is ship. one of Norway's phantoms of the fjords, or that's what some people call it. It's actually a skull class corvette. And it was designed to operate in these waters, in the fjords around the Norwegian coast, to protect this area from any adversaries. And there is a lot of secrecy around it and its crew, much like there is around our submarines. Well... It has a... Wait, is this like an illusion? This looks to be... Tailored units for us along the western coast of Norway. Uh, and we can also offer... The front... Am I seeing that right? It looks like it can, like, open up to... So does it have some sort of vehicle transport capability that you can't really see? You know what I'm talking about, right? Some tailored units for operating Ooh, within the these waters. So that there is one of no Sorry. secrecy around it and its crew, much like there is around our submarines. Unlike the Corvette, the P-2000 patrol craft taking part aren't normally armed vessels, but in this cat and mouse training exercise, they're given the power of a weapon system that can take down a wildcat or a Corvette. Position 60420. Tambor Shield is just one example of how allied nations are working to ensure they can operate together to defend the region. Claire Sadler, Forces News, Norway. All right, that was cool. Nice, quick video to start the day. Hope everyone's doing well. Would appreciate any comments down below. See you guys next time. Bye.